It's hard to believe, but the Grimsby Peach Kings have been a thing for 102 years. Our next guest, Sarah Ellingham, has gathered the hockey team's history in this new book, and it's simply called The Grimsby Peach Kings 1922-2022. to Sarah, the roots of this team going way, way back, the Peach Buds, is that what they were called? There was Peach Buds, Peach Kings. There was various teams playing at different levels at the same time. So Peach Kings, Peach Buds are different teams playing in different leagues. Okay. So, yeah, you've got intermediate and junior. So originally, the Peach Kings started off as an intermediate team. And that's an adult team, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no age limits with the intermediate back then, and um, the junior were, were younger, so they were the Peach Buds at the time. You know, the OHA was structured very differently than it is now, so that's kind of how they started. And then throughout the decades, they've played various, you know, intermediate A, B, junior, B, C, and uh, they've also competed against senior level in various stages throughout their 100 years. And, and currently a junior C team. A junior How C team, How are they doing yes, right now? I'm yes. not even familiar. They're doing amazing right now. They're actually number one in the league. And uh, so they're going into playoffs in a few weeks. Um, so they've earned a bye. So they'll be you know, playing in the, the second round of, of, the, of the playoffs this year. So you know, What motivated you to write things. this book, to put this history? This is rich history. Yes, and um, you know, being born and raised in Grimsby, it was uh, an honor to do this, you know, for my town. I'm, I'm very interested in the town's history in general. So um, I was originally asked by one of the owners to, to put this to piece together. And then, um, yeah, through a sequence of events, uh, you know, I, I ended up publishing it myself. And it's a, a work of art by me. <laughs> How did you find out, you know, going back to oh, way, way back, 102 yeah, well, years ago, yeah. Where, where, where was yeah. well, this was information found? Originally put in touch um, with, with the owner who you know, asked me to, to put this together, put me in touch with this woman, Marilyn Owen, and her husband, Al. Now, they are um, a few years older than me. Uh, they've been uh, well involved with the team for a very long time, in minor hockey as well. And uh, she, uh, Marilyn, just her own doing, has collected quite a history of, of the team. Which and is on display in the arena? Yes, yes. In 2014, um, she put a collection together with uh, artist Rick Manners, and they've got this beautiful mural in the, in the uh, Peach King Center um, in Grimsby. And um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. It has a lot of, uh, a lot of th information I've used to put this book together. Why didn't Marilyn write this book? Because <laughs> Marilyn's not a writer. She says, she's like, I could never write this, but she was just such a blessing in, in, in the beginning research of this. So um, she had all the, the highlights, the big championship um, games and... Uh, Did she collect newspaper and, clippings? Yes, yes. And then I got in touch with uh, former players who had um, quite extensive uh, scrapbooks collected from, you know, their moms or whatever would have kept a detailed record of, of their career. And, and so, you know, a lot of people just were willingly just giving me their scrapbooks and collections of, of memorabilia and, and facts and things. So through going through all that kind of sifting through all this information, it just piece by piece got it all detailed. The Grimsby yeah. Public Library and the museum were both helpful yes, for you? Yes, yes, very much, yeah. Yeah, with going through old newspapers and, and you know, digging into that older information to get the facts, because sometimes you get a story, but it's, but you're trying to find, well, what was the score of that game? You know, I don't remember, so you want to kind of go and find it. and. You know, so it was uh, just so fun researching this book. Were there some really colorful stories that came through over this time? Yeah, there's a few of them. Um, you know, some of them were, you know, the 60s, 70s. Um, it, it was, it was a, a different time then. It was quite rowdy and interesting what was going on. You know, now the team is... Uh, you know, they're, it's, it's, they're, they're quite respectful. Um, you know, they're just, they're, they're in it for the game. They're not about, you know, fighting and anything anymore. Like it used to be pretty, pretty rough, you know. So, so that's a little interesting. And uh, These small sections called Peach Fuzz, what are they all oh, about? Oh, Peach Fuzz. So those are little fun blurbs. Um, I actually got the idea from looking through these scrapbooks and noticing these cutout articles um, describing the game. And then at the end would have this little Peach Fuzz blurb to just throw in little fun facts of, you know, maybe a player got accepted into university or, or the coach's wife had a baby or, or something like that. So I, I kind of use that just to add these little pieces of information that I couldn't really find a place to bring it into the story. So it's just a little, helps break it up too, you know, just a little 
fun little details throughout. 163 mm -hmm. pages. It took you about a year to put this all together. Yes, yeah. Was it difficult yeah. piecing all those pieces together? I know you followed chronologically the history, yes, yes. which is great. So that helped, yeah, by breaking it down by decade. You know, you kind of focus on the decade, get all the facts together, and then it's like putting a puzzle together, right? Writing writing something. You just you want to have all your, your, your pieces there, you know, and then you want to have it flow nicely. So, um, there's some information that I was given that may not be necessary in the book, you know, little, <laughs> especially in those fighting days, you know, it's yeah. like, well, you know, it's to, to write something to the to general public, that, right? right? It's, yeah. it's got to be, you know, well read by, by all ages. So, um, yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, those days are a little bit crazy, but now even in the early, early days, um, back in like the fifties, they were, um, we're struggling quite a bit. There they was only five playing. five players on the they team. They stopped playing for yeah. about 12 years. Yeah, so there was only about five players on the team, so they're literally playing the entire game. <laughs> their sponsor was the Legion at the time, and they had to pull their sponsorship right. because it was just, it was quite sad, and they were doing the best they could, you know, with with what little they had to work with at the time. And, and so, yeah, they, they actually... Um, folded for 12 years. It's the longest running hiatus ever in their history. Well, and th thankfully, they're back up. Yeah, they're, and they're back C. up and they're doing amazing. You're selling these at the games and yes. you can also get them by emailing you at yep, Sarah? Yeah, you can get them directly through me, um, Sarah, Sarah at, at editit.ca, um, as well as at the home games. So there's a couple more home games uh, before the playoffs start and, you know, until, until quantities last. And um, also at Teddy's uh, food, fun, and spirits in downtown Grimsby. Twenty-five you can get bucks. Get the bar there. Twenty-five dollars, taxes in, and Sarah. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Mike. Yeah, this has been great.